With Worlds fast approaching, 12.18 looks to target many of the problematic champions in meta while giving a boost to some of the weaker links like Lee Sin. With the help of our challenger players and using the most recent data, we're set to run down all the changes and bring you guys a complete update on the solo queue meta. But before we get into it, be sure to check out Skillcapped if you want to truly get better at League of Legends. We're the only service that offers a money back guarantee if you don't climb at least 5 divisions while actively using our service. We do this because our service really does work, and if it doesn't work for you, you shouldn't pay. Learn more at the end of this video or click the link in the description below. Eight brand new skins are set to release this patch, as Silas will receive an Ashen Knight skin, while Azir will be given the World skin. A completely new skin line called Fright Knight will be added to the store for six different champions, being Annie, Draven, Nautilus, Renata Glask, Trundle, and Urgot. The only top laner buff for 12.18 is going to be Nasus. W attack speed slow is going from 50 to 75%. Ultimate cooldown is being significantly reduced from 120 at all ranks to 110 scaling to 90 seconds. 30 seconds off at max rank sounds really nice on paper, but how many games do you actually hit level 16? Definitely not in the vast majority, so the buff is nice, but you're not going to benefit from the 30 second drop in most games. Lower ranks are where this buff is going to come into play more often, and Nasus will be a great top laner for gold and below this patch. We've had Nasus in our B tier for quite a while now, but a push into A tier is what our analysts see fit as a result of the buffs. With limited top lane changes for 12.18, expect the meta to remain quite stable, with Aatrox, Darius, and Shen being the OP solo queue carries. Udyr is being hit with a nerf to his tank build, which will stunt his power level as a top laner more so than jungle. We'll cover the changes in detail when going over jungle, but he'll be moved down the tier list for top lane due to the nerfs. Maokai is being hit with a few changes as well, but the only one that affects him for top lane is the passive heal nerf. Change will lower Mao's power level slightly, but won't remove him from being a top tier carry. Optimal low elo top laners of the patch are Garen, Mordekaiser, and Yorick. Udyr, Aatrox, or Darius are all really good top lane bans. A rather disappointing set of buffs for Lee Sin considering how weak of a spot he's been in. I guess the logic is that Riot doesn't want to go too overboard and risk that Lee becomes an OP pick at Worlds. Health growth is going from 99 to 105. W vamp is being increased at the later ranks, but nothing at all at rank 1. As we mentioned, not very impactful buffs, so Lee will continue to be placed in our C tier for jungle. Moving on to the jungle nerfs, no surprise to see Hecarim on the chopping block. Q bonus AD ratio is being lowered from 95 to 90%. Q ramp damage ratio is also dropping from 6 to 5% per 100 bonus AD. W healing is being hit, going from 30 to 25%. W heal ratio drops as well from 2.5 to 2% 2 per 100 bonus AD. Considering Hecarim's current power level, not as harsh of nerfs as we were expecting. Heck will no longer be the number one jungler, but we can't see him disappearing from the meta as a result of these nerfs either. Hecarim will fall one tier, going from OP into S for 12.18. We've had Kane in our OP tier for a while now, and Riot's taken notice as they will be nerfing Red Kane for 12.18. Q% percent health bonus AD ratio is dropping from 5 to 3.5%. This is actually a pretty significant hit to Red Kane, as you'll definitely feel this nerf in the mid game with a couple items. OP tier no longer, as Kane will be dropping and moving into S. Why does it always feel like jungle has the most amount of changes every single patch? As we're on to number 4 here with Nocturne being nerfed. AD growth is going from 3.1 to 2.6. Keep in mind, Nocturne was just buffed in 12.17, so these changes are aimed to tune him down ever so slightly, but won't significantly impact his strength. A tier is where Nock will land for 12.18. Although the 12.17 Maokai changes were supposed to push him back into the jungle, they only made him stronger for top and support, so Riot has a few more changes in store. The big one for jungle Maokai is another Q damage to monster buff, going from 40 scaling to 120 to 80 scaling to 160. A 100% increase in damage at rank 1, which will significantly bolster Maokai's clear and propel him into a good spot. Passive heal is being reduced from 4.8 scaling to 14% to 4.5 scaling to 12%. EAP ratio is being reduced as well, so this hits the Demonic Embrace build, but won't matter too much if you're building Mao Tank. All in all, net positive changes for Jungle Maokai, and we're optimistic this will be enough to move the needle and propel him into a respectable A tier position. The optimal way to play Udyr is likely to change for 12.18, with Riot heavily buffing his Q and issuing nerfs to W and R. Q buffs include the mana cost dropping from 45 scaling to 28 all the way down to 20 at all ranks. A new effect is being introduced to where your first two attacks upon using Q gain 50 attack range. Another new effect is that the Awakened Q will deal an additional 2 scaling to 5% max health physical damage on the first two attacks. Just looking at the comparison in background gameplay, you can see this is a significant damage boost even on a target dummy with a low amount of health. 
With this Q change being a percent health damage buff, it's going to be even more insane the later games go. Q Max will without a doubt become a viable option now in 12.18. As for the W changes, we have the heal and shield dropping more significantly at the later ranks, while the lifesteal is actually being increased. The same approach is being taken with the R nerfs, as the damage will be the same at rank 1, but lowered by 10 at max rank. With Sunfire and Demonic Embrace, Udyr hits a massive power spike, so these nerfs aim to lessen his power level at that stage of the game. Lastly, we have some base stat nerfs with health per level going from 106 to 98 and armor per level dropping from 5.2 to 4.7. TLDR from all the changes is that Bruiser Udyr sees a considerable rise in power while Tank drops off for 12.18. We expect Tank to remain viable and likely the way Udyr is played if he's going to see pro play, but for solo queue, a Q max with Trinity Force Rush is something to pay attention to moving forward. Udyr is going to remain in our S tier for now, but with so many different changes, we'll be closely monitoring him throughout the patch and providing you guys with any updates in our mid-patch tier list. For the jungle tier list, we have a bit of a shake-up this patch, with Fiddle and Master Yi locking down the only OP tier spots. Kane, Hecarim, and Udyr nerf leaves room for Fiddle and Yi to really take over as the most dominant solo queue junglers. With Hecarim being played at such a high rate right now, if you would rather use your ban on someone else, then playing Trundle into Heck is a great idea. Our top three low elo jungle recommendations are Amumu, Master Yi, and Shivana. Hecarim, Master Yi, and Udyr are going to be three of the better bans for 12.18. Mid lane has a grand total of zero changes this patch, so let's jump right into the solo queue tier list. In the OP tier will be Zed, Victor, and Vex. Following up on the changes from last patch, Azir is in an extremely terrible spot for solo Q now, so definitely stay away from him. Ari nerfs have finally pushed her down the tier list as well after holding down an S tier standing or above for many months. With Aatrox as strong as he is in the top lane, a few pros have been taking him into mid and finding really good success. If you play Aatrox mid into other melee champs like Silas or Yone, then you can absolutely dominate the lane. Aatrox mid is definitely one of the better off meta picks you can play right now. Top 3 mid laners to climb low elo the fastest are Swain, Malzar, and Annie. Cassid and Zed and Vex are the highest on our ban list for mid. Just one AD carry buff for 12.18, and receiving that buff is going to be Ash. Ash's Q attack speed ratio will be increased from 20 scaling to 40% to 25 scaling to 55%. If this were a 15% buff at rank 1 like we saw Riot give to Tristana a few patches ago, then Ash would be moving into S tier, but the mere 5% boost at rank 1 won't be enough to move the needle. Ash will continue to land in our A tier as a good solo Q pick. Misfortune went from being a strong ADC to an OP ADC due to her recent crit buffs, so Riot's looking to tone down some of her base stats. AD growth is dropping from 2.7 to 2.4, while health growth sees a dip as well, going from 107 to 103. It's always hard to predict how impactful these kind of base stat nerfs will be, but we can say with certainty that MF won't be the most broken ADC anymore. We expect Misfortune to remain top tier, just not on a level above everyone else, so she'll remain in our OP tier but won't have the spot to herself. Riot's really been loving these stat check kind of nerfs as they will be lowering Callista's base health from 604 to 564. As an ADC who needs to be ahead early game to be impactful, this nerf hits Callista harder than it would for most champs. Callista was already nerfed a few patches back as well, so this will definitely be the killing blow for her solo queue viability. Pro play is a different story, but for solo queue specifically, Callista will no longer be better than a B tier pickup. So for the ADC tier list, it's going to be Misfortune and Twitch locking down the OP tier spots. We've seen a pretty massive shift in meta as of recent, going from Sivir and Zeri being the two most oppressive carries, to them falling off heavily due to nerfs. Many ADCs are in and around the same power level right now, as we have a ton of good S tier picks to choose from. Kate, Trist, and Kaisa, all recently buffed, has leveled out the playing field, and with the exception of Zeri, there really isn't a terribly weak ADC. Vagar, Misfortune, and Seraphine are our three bot lane recommendations for low elo. MF, Kate, or Twitch are the ADCs most worth a ban for 12.18. We have yet another set of buffs for Thresh, so it's definitely in Riot's agenda to get the Lantern Man back in meta. Health growth is going from 115 to 120. E damage is being increased from 65 scaling to 185 to 75 scaling to 215. 30 extra damage at max rank is a substantial buff, and we'll have to see if this shifts priority over to an E max in 12.18. Q will likely remain the way to go, but our analysts will definitely be paying close attention to the stats on this one. Regardless, Thresh will see a nice uptick in power and will be on the verge of moving into S tier. We'll be leaving Thresh in A for now, but any other buff or indirect shift in meta and he'll be back in a top tier position. 
Lulu nerfs are always a pleasant surprise as she will be targeted with multiple different nerfs. W movement speed will drop from 30 to 25%. W polymorph duration is going from 1.25 scaling to 2.25 seconds to 1.2 scaling to 2 seconds. W cooldown is being increased by 2 seconds at max rank. Riot's really trying to hit Lulu's mid to late game potency with these nerfs as her early laning power won't be significantly impacted at all. With that being said, Lulu will definitely be losing a good chunk of power for 12.18 and will be moving from S into our B tier for support. So, for the support tier list, our OP tier will consist of Maokai, Janna, and Amumu. We'll be keeping a close eye on Maokai at the start of the patch, as the nerfs will hurt him a little bit, but we don't expect his power level to significantly drop off. Mao, with his point and click lockdown and strong peel power, is such an incredible pickup for the meta, where these champs who want to dive your backline like Hecarim and Udi are being played so much. There's no better enchanter to play than Janna at the moment, especially due to Lulu and Yumi being nerfed. Lulu and Yumi may still have some viability for pro play, but in solo queue, there are a plethora of better options now. To climb low elo the fastest from support, look to spam Amumu, Brand, or Zyra. Janna, Amumu, and Pike are who should be banned the most from the support role in 12.18. Alright guys, before we wrap this up, let's tell you a little more about skill cap. So, we offer a 5 division rank up guarantee, and think that's a pretty crazy thing to offer. It's like a gym membership guaranteeing you'll get ripped. Your local gym would go bust if they offered that, right? Not us. We've offered this for years because our service really does work. It works so well, in fact, that we're able to produce by far the largest catalog of premium league guides on the internet. We add over 20 videos a week. With over 1,600 guides curated into over 100 courses, no one can compare. We've also sent challenger players into ELO Hell 714 times and counting, where they commentate how to carry live. They also respond to all questions asked. Sign up today for as little as $4.99 a month if you are serious about improving. One of the smaller patches we've had in a while, but definitely not short of meta shifting changes. So now that you guys are completely up to speed with the solo Q tier list, good luck out there in 12.18, and we will catch you in the next one.